all, today we're going to do an unboxing of the Grand Alliance, which is expansion number five to Table Battles by Hollenspiel, which is a card war game that uh, uses, as you can see here, uses these uh, wooden sticks as kind of a representation of the forces, and uh, there's a lot of dice rolling in this. Uh, expansion number five, the Grand Alliance, uh, adds two uh, battles from the Nine Years' War and four battles from the War of Spanish Succession. So this is the age of Eugene and Marlborough. Um, <clears throat> anyway, let's get inside here and see. What, it comes in this little gla uh, plastic card case here. It's kind of nice. I probably will not store it back in there. And then you just slip this cover off here. And basically what you're getting in this expansion is you are getting more cards so for more battles this uh, talks about the expansion and what you get in the expansion then you have more on the expansion then you have these are scenario cards so you're going to get these battles in here and these tell you um you know, who's who's uh, opposing, uh, who the opponents are, and a little bit about the battle. So these are the different battles that you're getting in this expansion. So it looks like we're getting, should be six, one, two, three, four, five, six battles. And then the key to the game, of course, are the, uh, are the forces. And so... You're going to have the cards here, and the, this up here is like the die rolls you have to make for them to have a hit. But there's a lot of times there there's special um, qualifications on maybe who they can attack. And <clears throat> there's attacking and screening, which is basically kind of a protection of the force, uh, a protection of a, like another force uh, and the like. So you're going to get all the different forces here, and then again, the... Uh, as I said, those wooden sticks are going to be the representation of the forces. And when you get losses, you take those sticks off. And when you lose all of them, you lose that uh, lose that force uh, or lose that that the ability to use that card anymore. Um, <clears throat> so these are all the different cards that go in here, and they're double sided because uh, one side's for one battle and the other side's for the other, and you've got six. Uh, battles uh, to recreate in this in this uh, in this expansion. So that's what you're going to get uh, in the box of the Grand Alliance, the fifth expansion. I'll give you an example of some of the cards here, and then doubles. You have to roll doubles, and then be to be able to use that uh that ability again there's a lot of dice chucking um the system's not overly complex uh it, it's it's not it takes a little bit of once you play you have to play it a couple times you, you you start get a feel for how it plays again not overly complex but it's just it's different than other war games uh at least your standard hex encounter type war games this is all cards there's no map it's just the, the cards, those sticks, and the dice. And you have some um, leaders in here as well. But these are all your... Yeah, there's a leader right there. These are all your cards that you get in the box. So those will be divided up into the, the six different battles. Again, double-sided. So uh, that is what you get in a box of the Grand Alliance, expansion number five. Hopefully this was helpful. If you like, please like. Um, what do you think about this? What do you think about this series? What do you think about uh, these expansions basically add on uh, several battles. That's all what the expansions do. They, they also do, good. they go into Ancients, there's Gettysburg, uh, there's Napoleonic. Uh, I've gotten some of the expansions um, as well, I mean, here's, here's the sticks you have here, and I've, and I've gotten 
let's see, I got expansion number four, which is the English Civil War. Uh, but it's basically this, the cards, the sticks, and a lot of dice rolling. Uh, and so I'll probably bag these and put these in here and save these for yet another game or another day. So um, start with a conversation. What's your thoughts on this? It plays relatively fast. Um, uh, again, it's really best opposed. It's kind of hard to solitaire. You can solitaire it, uh, but um, it, it plays better as a give and go take uh, as, in, in, as you're playing it. Uh, you know, what's your thoughts on it? Uh, appreciate to see the dialogue, but most importantly, thanks for watching.